What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning, so come by and say hello. This video is also brought to you by two things. Since we don't do any sponsorships here on the channel, I'll show them out real quick. The first is my music, which is available anywhere you stream music under the name After Sound, and the second is a new podcast I just launched called Chasing Infinity. Links in the description below. Check them out. Let me know what you think, and I appreciate the support. Okay, guys, let's jump into this uh, with... With us having what seems to be the beginning of a little bit of an alt season, right? Bitcoin has been chopping around the 90Ks for the last couple of days after hitting, I think, a new all-time high of like uh, 99.8. We're finally starting to see some signs of life from ETH, even though it has not hit a new all-time high, but ETH is now at 3,800. You're seeing BNB, it actually hit a new all-time high just earlier today, December 4th, and the rest of the altcoins are starting to get, or at least look exciting. So where does that play in with SPS? Well, you can see here, SPS is like up eight to 10% on on the day, depending on the time frame of when you watch this, but we are over a penny now, 0 0.0106, which is exciting. And what I wanted to cover was how do things look from a market cap perspective? Because I, I've talked about this previously, and the main thing here, the main thing here is we need to be cognizant of market cap all-time high and where that leads us to from a new token perspective because inflation has been so ridiculous on this token, right? Now, the good thing is you go back here and you can see that we are over 50% uh, in terms of the uh, amount of tokens that have already been minted. Where is that? Uh, over here, you can see, you know, the amount non-minted is at 44.5%. So we're, you know, closing in on 56%. We have 1.6 billion, just under 1.6 billion in supply out of the total 3 billion, but of course we've even burned 127-ish million of that so far. So the new maximum supply is only 2.93. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers out there. Now, according to Splinterlands, which I would trust these numbers more than uh, coin market cap, um, you can see here we're sitting just under 17 billion, 16.8 billion, sorry, a million with an M, 16.8 million as our market cap. If I was to go over to uh, coin market cap here, you can see that they say we have 13.7. So they're clearly not counting something somewhere. Um, so where does that leave us? Well, first of all, I want to take a look. Obviously, if you look at the price of the token overall, you know, we we topped out near or about at about a dollar, I would say, during the bull run. I know that the all-time high shows one a uh, dollar twenty-seven, but that was in July. That was right after SPS had come out. And I think there was a lot of people buying. I don't really count that as the all-time high. I really count whatever wherever we were in like October and the hype that was there at that time as the all-time high. So again, it was about a dollar. And the other thing that I want to take a look at here is the market cap, right? Could Because this shows us, right, in early, we'll call it uh, late, late October, early November, this shows us topping out around like 150 million as our max, uh, you know, our all-time high market cap. Now, again, this is all anecdotal and my memory might be faulty, but I do remember us hitting a dollar with roughly 200 million tokens in play, which means that, you know, I, I would think that our market cap truly, just because I, you can see that coin market cap isn't uh, entirely accurate here, or at least they're not getting uh, all the data that they need in order to be accurate. I would say that our all-time high market cap is probably somewhere between that 150 to 200. In fact, it might be even be a little bit higher than 200 million, but I'm going to go with 200 million, I, even though I'm showing you this, but I'm giving my reasons why I would go with 200 million over what uh, coin market cap has. So, I've done this math before, but let's go ahead and do it once again. So um, you can see here we have 1.596 billion, right? And I'm going to take this uh, calculator online. So what I'm essentially going to do is just do the 200 million, right? That uh, r tokens that we had roughly at, the, I'm sorry, 200 million was the market cap at that time. Divide this by the 1596. And where does that get us? Roughly 12.5 cents, which means that we're only about a 12 and a half X from where we would be at uh, if we were to hit the old all time high from a market cap perspective. So, you know, I, I know a lot of people get like really bullish and people are thinking like, oh man, where can SPS go? It's going to be crazy. And yes, that doesn't mean we can't hit those numbers, right? 50 cents, a dollar, and whatever the case, <laughs> whatever people might be throwing out there. I'm not saying we can't hit that. All I'm saying, and I've said this in, I've done previous videos on this, but this is more so just a reminder. And also because the fact that we keep printing tokens, it keeps pushing this number down, right? So now the new number is roughly 12.5 cents. In fact, if you want to go with the 150, right? 150 million market cap that coin market cap shows, divide that by the 1596. 
and that gets you roughly 9.4 cents, which means we're only like 9.4 X away from hitting the new all time high from a market cap perspective, meaning that SPS just SPS, right? Because the entire market cap of splinter lens includes cards and other assets, right? Uh, no licenses land, but just SPS, right? Would only need to go up about nine X from here in order to hit a new all time high. Now, I'm not even saying that, you know, a 9X is guaranteed. All I'm saying is that this is why when I talk about my conservative case for SPS, and again, this is not a price prediction, right? Um, I, I've said this before. I, I'm not trying to make a price prediction here, but I've thrown out 10 cents in the past. And this is the reason why is because if we get to 10 cents, we are flirting between that 9.4 and 12.5 cent range of new all time high, which would mean that splinter lens, right? Or I shouldn't even say splinter lens, but SPS as a token, is hitting uncharted territory. Like it has not, like this is the, the highest from a market cap perspective, the amount of dollars and volume and value in there would be at levels comparable to where we were at from a previous all time high. At which point I would look at that and say, hmm, okay, well maybe, <laughs> maybe maybe we start, you know, looking at taking some off the table and de-risking, I, I don't know, right? This is just my own thing. This is not financial advice. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. I'm not even saying that we're gonna get up to nine cents. I'm saying that if we do get up to the nine, 10 cent range, that is why I kind of have that benchmarked as like, all right, I'm a little nervous now. I'm a little nervous now. I'm excited, right? Because SPS has essentially done a 20X from its all-time low. Um, but now is the point in which I'm starting to I'm starting to keep a closer eye on the marketplace. I'm starting to maybe de-risk, maybe start buying some ice cream, right? Or taking taking ice cream money, whatever the case is, right? However you want to look at it, this is why I have that 10 cent range. So now you now you can see it. If you want to use market cap, uh, coin market caps numbers, or you want to use my kind of again, they may be faulty memory numbers, but whatever the case is, once we get to that 9.4, 12.5 cent range, and we'll just say nine to 12 cents, things are going to look really interesting. And here's the thing we will continue printing SPS tokens, right? So as we print more SPS, this number goes down, right? The, the, the amount needed for us to hit from a token perspective, right? Token price perspective goes down because there's more tokens out there. So therefore the market cap obviously is an aggregate of all the tokens. So unless we start to burn significant amounts of SPS, which at this point, I think we're very, very far from considering that there's so much DEC oversupplied and there's so many reward cards uh, and, and just cards in general on the ecosystem that can be burned for DEC. It's going to be a while until we do that. And if SPS starts to go up higher in value, just with the regular market dynamics, you know, the way that it has over these past couple of weeks, then we end up burning even less SPS. So I'm not even looking at like when we get the flywheel started, I was really hopeful that we would be burning a lot of SPS, like, you know, tens of millions of SPS to really get it so that a new all time high from a market cap perspective would correspond with a, you know, decently high token price perspective. But the more that we print, the less that we burn, the higher that we go, the less that we burn, right? So all of this just kind of playing in, it's going to be a very dynamic thing over the next couple of months here, but um, that is where we currently stand. And that is why I maintain, you know, around 10 cents would probably be like a blow off top for me, mainly because that would be the equivalent of the blow off top market cap perspective from 2021. So that is all I have for you guys in this video. Again, just putting out a little bit of a reminder here, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.